back. Okay, so now I've got three of that one. And I'm going to take this other one. Did I make those the right width? No. Right length, but not the right width. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take three of the other one now. And do the same thing. I'm just going to trim it up. just go through those little pieces and find ones that I like, the way the pattern looks on it. Okay, now I've got three of each. So I'm going to lay, let's see, do I want that one there or that? I'm going to put this one here like that, and then I'm going to put one of these on. Right side here. Yeah. And I'll put that one there. And that one there. Once you've got your layout figured out, you're just going to glue them on. You can use uh, tape, score tape, or whatever, but I just use glossy accents. It's quick and easy. Well, it would be quick and easy. There we go. There's my needle. Stick that in there. There we go. And you don't want a lot of glue because you don't want it to get bumpy, so... Just a little bit, and I rub it around with the nose of my thing. And then just kind of center it in your little flap. Go to the next one. Okay, go ahead and put it on. Back on. Okay, so I've got all of them glued on the front. Um, I forgot to mention that if you want to, you can take your little pieces before you put them in here and stamp on them or, you know, emboss them or do whatever you want. I don't like mine with a lot of background noise because I want my pictures to be the main attraction. Okay, so that's the front side. Now you're going to flip it over and you're going to do the other side. Now remember, you're not going to decorate these two end flaps because that's where it's going to be glued to the domino. So you're going to go in one on each end. And um, Okay, I'm going to put the movie on pause. And okay, so I went ahead and cut them down like I should have done from the beginning. And I glued them on the back. So that's what my back is going to look like now. Okay. 
and here is the front with my Alfonso Mucha images. And I'll share these images, they're public domain, so I'll share these four images on my, um, on the blog underneath the video. Okay, so now we're back to taking the dominoes. And you're going to lay them out like this. And this is where you can um, be optional. You can either use your glossy accents or you can use your glue gun to glue it on. I personally just, I like my glossy accents. So I'm just going to put it all around the domino. Okay, I'm back again. Uh, sorry, another break. The camera only can't hold so much. Um, and while we were breaking, I decided that I wanted to use a pin on my project too. So I had these pretty little petaloo pin, pins. Um, I had the top three beads and I added the black one at the bottom so it would blend in. And I'm just going to lay that on the inside of the domino at the top in the middle. Okay? So that's on there. And now I'm going to take my paper and I've already put the glue on, remember, and actually, since the pin is on, I think I'll put a little more glue across the pin just to make sure. Oops. Okay, so I'll lay that on there like that. And then I'm going to take my paper and make sure you have your image the correct direction and lay it over all of that. And make sure that you're covering the dots if you have any. Okay. Hold it down. Let it dry for a couple of seconds. Um, you can use hot glue for this, like I said, but I personally just prefer the, this because it doesn't um, have as much dimension and it dries nice and clear. So you do have to hold it for a second. I don't want my glue to get clogged. So down a little bit. Okay, so then just accordion fold up your stuff like that and put that last one, that flap like that. Take your other domino, put your glue on it. hold the sandwich together now until it dries. Okay, pause. Okay, so the inside is dry and as you see I've tied the sides up and then I took a scissors and trimmed up the ribbon. Uh, you can leave it like that and it would be beautiful but I think I'd like some little feet on mine. So I am going to take some E6000 glue and again this is totally not necessary. Oh, that one's unopened. Let me get a new one. Anyway, I just decided I wanted it, and you know how that goes. You're crafting, you're right in the middle of something, and you change your mind on what you want to do. So that's what happened during my little break. I decided I wanted feet. So just take your glue and put two drops on each side. Then for mine, I decided to use beads, so I'm going to take these little beads and put one on first. 
There's two. three, and four. Now you're going to let this dry. And it does take a little while for the E6000, but I'm going to turn it over so you can see it. And I will put some still shots at the end of the video so you can see everything close up. But that's what it looks like. Not too hard of a project, and I think they're pretty and make a good conversation piece. Just display it like you would anything else and put it in a little vignette on your dresser or on a coffee table. Anyway, it's just a cool project. I'm going to let this dry, take some screenshots, and load it up on the blog. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.